to a science video with me, Sebastian. Today, we're going to be exploring the power of hydrogen, acids, bases and neutral substances, and neutralisation reactions. First off, we're going to make some litmus. Litmus is a chemical that allows you to read the power of hydrogen, pH, of substances. The less power of hydrogen it gets, the more acidic it is, such as vinegar you put on your chips. The more power of hydrogen it has, the more basic it is, like bicarbonate of soda, baking soda, as you, it's also called. So, now I've explained all that, we can get to making some litmus. Now, now you might wonder why I've got some red cabbage here. Red cabbage has a special substance that it is a litmus indicator. And that's what we're going to make our litmus out of. You can also use phenolphthalene if you don't have access to this kind of stuff, or methyl orange, which is sometimes found in chemistry sets, only in very small amounts because it's slightly toxic. This isn't. <laughs> so, first up, we're going to get around 350 millilitres of water. I've got this in an academy beaker. And we're going to get one or two fat cabbage leaves. It has to be red cabbage. Green cabbage or white cabbage or iceberg cabbage or whatever the other kinds of cabbage there are doesn't, don't have this special pigment in it. So, we also need a blender or a smoothie maker. So, oh, ah, God. so, open your blender or your smoothie maker and add in your water. That's about it. Now I'm going to add in my cabbage. About it. Put these to the side if I want to make some more. Oh, these are tight. Ah, brilliant. Now let's smooth it. Now this is basically getting all the pigment out of the cabbage and it's all into the water. the cabbage and spare you the awful noise and so basically now what we're going to do is we're going to get all the, the liquid onto here. So I've got my litmus solution ready from the, the blender and now what we're going to do is we're going to strain it to try and remove as much solid as we can that might be still in there. So, now that's all strained, put that to one side, yep. and now we have some beautiful purple litmus. So, I've got three flasks here, this one with some bicarbonate of soda solution, this one with just some regular water, and this one with some vinegar. Now if I just switch these around a bit. My eyes closed. 
I have no idea which one is which. We can use the litmus to test which one is which though. So, if it turns purple, this is already purple, so it doesn't really matter about that. If it just stays purple, then it's neutral. If it turns green, it's basic. If it turns pink, it's an acid. Let's have a remember the colour code wrong. So, I suspect this one is the acid. We're able to prove if it's the acid by smelling it. <laughs> this one is the base, and apparently it's turned blue. <laughs> so this one should be. Oh no! That one's the acid. That's interesting. So, we've got the acid, the neutral, and the base. That's pretty cool, I haven't done this one in a while. Oh well, that's really, really cool. I'm impressed. So now, we've explored pHs, and we've explored the different ways to measure it. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to combine an acid a base and a neutral substance to make something rather spectacular. So, if I get my neutral substance and I basically dilute this washing up liquid like that, mix it a bit slowly. Just so the, the neutralisation expands more. Then, what we're going to do is we're going to add some of our acid. Oh my god, that looks so amazing with the fluorescent red. Wow, that looks amazing. Now we've mixed the acid with the neutral, it won't go as violently and as vigorously, so it's a bit safer. So it's a more, more dilute. Now we're going to add our base and we'll see what happens. You can see there's a foam on top. If we add a bit more acid, see it's starting to rise. What? Oh, my God. Is it gonna go? <laughs> Let's see if mixing it helps. Well, so you can see that the mixture has turned purple. The reason why is because it's turned neutral, like the water. And you can see there's all this foamy goop on top. That's washing up liquid. But the reason why it's foamed up so much is because the reaction between vinegar and bicarbonate of soda produces a gas called carbon dioxide, which bubbles into the washing up liquid and makes it expand. So that was kind of lame. Now, 
Let's try the fun stuff. So, I've got some washing up liquid. And to the base, I'm going to add a bunch. Then it expands really well. Now, we add the acid. Oh my god, look at that! It's amazing! Wow! That's like a volcano! So, now we've done that, that's a good time to end. I thank you all so much for watching and I really hope that you enjoy that video. Please do subscribe to see more videos like this and ring that notification bell to see more videos when I upload them instantly. And please do give this a like if you liked it. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in another science video. Bye!